Welcome to another exciting episode of To Big to Middleman. Today we got something epic. This is from one of my favorite breweries in Gold Coast in Queensland from Black Hops Brewery. This one's the Fiends Imperial Eggnog Stout. Okay, so today we've got a very interesting one that I've been wanting to try for a while, but I've been afraid of it because it's an Imperial Eggnog Stout that is 11%. Yes, 11%. But uh, it is from one of my favorite craft breweries um, in my state. Uh, they're in Gold Coast, which is just about an hour, an hour and a half away from me. Black Hops Brewery. Man, everything I've tried from Black Hops has quickly become my favorite in that category. Their Code Red for a red IPA was freaking awesome. Um, their GOAT, um, the greatest of all time, NEPA, the New England IPA, that was beautiful. Um, so they are both at the top of my list in those categories. Modus Operandi's uh, former tenant, Red IPA, comes very close to the Code Red, but Code Red uh, just wins by a little bit because I just remember that being so awesome. But without further ado, let's get into the fiends. The Imperial Eggnog Stout. 11%. Oi. Okay, so uh, Black Ops Breweries, as I said, my favourite brewery. Uh, absolute favourite brewery uh, for the craft beers and those kind of stuff. Um, they've got a lot of breweries that I really like. Uh, yeah, Bolter. That's another one from Gold Coast. I really enjoy Gage Rhodes products, which is over the other side of Australia, uh, but their malts driven products are fantastic. So, uh, Black Hops, a brewery, a fiends, imperial eggnog stout. This is what it has to say for itself. Inspired by brewers in the 1800s, this king of stouts boasts high alcohol and plenty of roasted chocolate and burnt malt flavors. Hell yeah. Uh, the spice mix of brandy, vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg complements the aromas of the dark fruit from the French Saison yeast. Fiends is rich, intense beer with a big, complex flavours and a warming finish. Okay. Well, I can get on board with that. Let's do this. 11%, 3.3 standard drinks. Um... That's that's that's, uh, that's nothing to mess with. <laughs> oh, hello. That's different in smell. <sighs> I'm smelling banana, but it could be the bananas I'm ripening on the bench. <laughs> yeah, I think that is. Oh, don't know about this one. Don't know about this one. Some of those flavors are. Um, they don't remind me of beer. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. Put my big boy pants on, give it a sip. That's oh, thick. That's not bad. I think in my head, it's the whole eggnog stout thing that's just like, yeah, eggnog and, and bubbles and beer <laughs> it's very full flavored there's a lot of flavors in that sip very hard to determine exactly what I'm getting but from the description yeah you can pretty much come out with with what, what it was saying in the description but it's a bit muddled up yeah uh, out of the can it's just very very full flavored thick Definitely get that burnt malt. Not too much of the chocolate there, but I just feel, I don't know if it's the eggnog stout or what, but yeah, I can just feel that. Just, I don't, don't know yet. This might be one Black Hops one that isn't quite my favorite instantly. Um, only because I'm not too much into this. Uh, style and this intentus, intenseness so far. Doesn't say the uh, the hop sets in it, but anyway, let's get into a glass. Holy crap, how black is that? Jesus. Let's get that there. Let's just put that there. Wow. That's a 
dark little bugger. Gonna have to show you the colour of that. Wow. That ain't no seeing through that. Alright, so uh, putting it straight up to the light, I cannot see through that at all. But that's a nice, uh, it's a nice colour foam there. That is really good. I like that. But yeah, there ain't no seeing through that one. All right, Fro. So just from that colour, yes. Um, I really enjoy the dark stout looking colour. But there's a few stouts that I uh, there's some that I like and some that I don't. This one here is falling in the category of, you know what, I'm not sure yet. So, uh, give it a go. Give it, give it, give it more of a, uh, a test. What is that smell, though? That must be the boozy. I, I get the boozy smell. And um, I think that's the malt. You know what? This one might be just a little bit above my knowledge on um, how to really rate it. Oh, well, not rate it. I don't rate my uh, beers. I just kind of tell you what I get from it and where I kind of put it. Um, whether I like it, I'll drink it again. I won't drink it again. Uh, that doesn't mean too many I won't drink again because, let's face it, it's beer. You know? So, yeah. I don't know whether I'm going to implement a uh, rating uh, number, rating system. Uh, I'm not really that intense on it. I, I just know what I like and I can tell you what I like in what I like because everyone's flavor is different. Everyone tastes is different. Um, you might you might absolutely hate stuff that I absolutely love. And so be it. You know, everyone's got their own um, their own choices and their own uh, shit to go by. But anyway, let's uh, let's give this another sip on. Look at that, that coating the glass. All right, so that's mellowed out a bit in the glass, which is good, because now you get, I get on the back end, I get the the roasted uh, chocolate. Well, no, not so much chocolate. I get more of the roasted malt, um, and then a little bit of chocolate. The body's thick. Yeah. Getting more of that roasted uh, uh, malt out now, which is actually really enjoyable on that flavour. It's very, uh, it's very full on this one, but as it mellows out a bit, it's enjoyable. Well, I'm start as it warms up a bit. <laughs> I'm really can really get that um, you got that multi that that uh, that roasted malt and then you've got the 11% there as well and it's kind of coating and hanging on like a like a spirit you know what okay so overall consensus of this I like it would I buy it again yeah, I, I, I reckon I would buy it again. Couldn't drink it too much. This this is just one that, you know what, I really feel like a stout. I feel like a good stout. And I think once I get a little bit more into my stouts, because I've only gone a lot of the light stouts, uh, lighter kind of stouts, some of them you would even call a brown ale um, rather than a stout. Uh, but yeah, the IPAs. Um, I play around with them. Got my taste going well with that. I think the stouts I need to play with just a little bit more, and we see where we can go from there. So, uh, but yeah, eleven percent, crikey! Oh, yeah, really feeling that eleven percent on that now. Absolutely. All right, guys, um, basically, I think that one comes to the end of another Mixed Brew Reviews. Thank you very much for watching. This one was on the Black Hops Breweries, number one, in my opinion, 
This is their Fiend's Imperial Eggnog Stout at 11%. Uh, very nice, very full of flavour. A lot going on with this thick, dark bastard. But you know what? Black Hops do things to perfection. They do things to a premium way that, you know what, there is so other, so many other guys that can't even get half uh, the premium kind of, just the feel and, and the overall aspect that you get out of their beers. Um, so no, Black Hops, you're doing well guys. Uh, this one's not exactly my, um, my favorite in a category, but that's only because that category for me is still very new. I'm very a very much a newborn into the the full-on stout category. A lot of the basic porters, yes, I've had, but yeah, stouts, you know what, I haven't played with too much. So um, this can basically go at the top of that list so far because I haven't enjoyed it as haven't even enjoyed any other stout like I have enjoyed this, even though this is not like, oh my god, this is absolutely fantastic. This is what I want in a stout. But you know what? I don't know what I want in a stout yet. So, yeah. All right, I uh, might end up finishing this one off with a joke uh, or a series of jokes. So, uh, let's start this off with, what do you call a deer? A deer, that's a foal deer uh, buck, you know, roaming around the, the forest. What do you call a deer with no eyes? You call it a no idea. <laughs> what do you call a deer with no eyes and no legs? I'll give you a second. What do you call it? You call it still no idea. Yeah, get it? It's still, yeah, it's got no eyes and it's a deer. Yeah. You think that's a cracker? You wait for this last one. What do you call a deer that has no eyes, no legs, and is getting humped by a fellow deer? I will give you a moment to think about it. Put some uh, thinking music on. Okay, so what do you call a deer with no eyes, no legs, and is getting humped by another deer? Still no fucking idea. Cheers. Ha <laughs> ha, crikey. Said yes. Well, thank you very much for watching another Mixed Brew Review. I hope you enjoy this one. Please give us a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, make sure you've hit that bell so you get notifications of when I put new videos up. Don't forget, guys, enjoy your beers. That's it. Go home. Oh.